Concert, Requiem, and Islands. Um, it's a very strange combination of pieces. They're, they're radically different. Um, so on one side you have Concert, Requiem, which is this very sad, uh, extremely sad, haunting, uh, melodic work for violin and piano. And on the other side you have this enormous solo piano work of this like, symphonic uh, character. Uh, and it's pure continuous music with sonorities being the major element of, of the piece. Uh, the, I can't really remember why I put the two together. I had hoped that uh, the melodic piece would, would bring the classical world more to listen to the, um, the islands, which was this symphonic uh, atonal sonority piece. And then also the people who wanted to hear islands would actually hear this other side of continuous music, the melodic side, the, the, the beautiful side that comes from the heart, from, from life. Uh, the Concert Requiem was uh, composed to commemorate the approximately seven million Ukrainians who were murdered in the year 1933 by the Russians. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, and it's, it's probably the biggest genocide of world history. And it's been completely hidden from the people as well. And even to this day, a lot of people say, well, yes, it did happen, but you know, it was this or it was that. Uh, it was not, it was a pure act of, of uh, genocidal murder. It, 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 was, it was terrible. And so the music really uh, was my uh, so union with the suffering of my people, of the Ukrainian people. It was the, I tried to bring the, the suffering of the people as a prayer uh, into, into our modern world through this music.